boys and girls, this is Mrs. Carroll, and today I'm going to read to you a book called A Day in the Life of a Firefighter. I see real pictures on this cover. I wonder what kind of book this is going to be. It's going to be fake, like fiction, or it's going to be real, like nonfiction. Let's see. A Day in the Life of a Firefighter. And here's the title page. Tells us the title. Rob Green packs clean clothes and says goodbye to his family. Rob is a firefighter. It's 8 a.m. At the fire station, he puts his clothes in the locker. Rob is on duty for 24 hours. Chief Myers gives the firefighters jobs for the day. In case of a fire, Rob is on rescue. Rob gets other jobs, too. Check the hoses and the nozzles. Cook supper. A new restaurant needs to be inspected this morning, Chief Myers says. And a second grade class is coming to visit after lunch. Rob checks. Nozzles change the way the water sprays out of the hose. All the nozzles are working. Pete turns on the engine. Is there enough gas? Lewis checks the oil level. Ten thirty a.m. Rob and Pete inspect the restaurant. Is the fire exit light on? Where's the fire extinguisher? Do the sprinklers work? Twelve o'clock. PM. It is lunchtime. Lewis tells about his fishing trip. He caught enough fish to share. Later, Rob will cook the fish for supper. 1.30 p.m. Miss Hill's class visits the fire station. Where is the siren? Rob shows the class what he wears to a fire. This is the air pack. Remember, Pete says, in a room full of smoke, stay near the floor. It's almost supper time. Rob cooks in the firehouse kitchen. Fried fish for 12 hungry firefighters. 6 o'clock p.m. Ring, ring, ring. The fire alarm goes off. Everybody scrambles. Rob is ready to go. The fire engine roars out of the station. E-I, E-I, goes the siren. Six ten p.m. Pete puts on his mask and takes the attack line to the door. He waits. Rob is on rescue. Michelle's dog, Pickles, is in the house. 1, go. Pete goes in. Soon, water will rush out of the hose. 10.45 p.m., Rob cooks again. At last, the firefighters get to eat their fish dinner. Then it is time for bed. Rob sleeps at the station. Before he falls asleep, Rob thinks about Michelle and Pickles. He smiles. He has the best job in the world. The end. And at the end of this book, there are some words with pictures, and you may have seen them throughout the story, telling you what things are.
We can echo read these together right now. I'll read first and then you repeat me. Nozzle, fire exit, sprinkler, siren, air pack, mask, helmet, hose. What are some things you already knew about fire safety from this book? Talk to a grown up. What are some things that you learned new when you talk, when you heard this book? Talk to a grown up. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thanks for listening.